Welcome to IAS project. In this video, we will talk about Ahar Banas Chalcolithic culture which is located in Rajasthan. Before we go into the lecture, let me ask you an easy question. Kayatha Chalcolithic culture developed in which region of India? You have four options here. Malwa region, Godavari Valley region, Marwad region and Mewad region. If you know the answer to this question, please answer it in the comment section. First, let's look at the location of Ahar Banas culture. Ahar Banas culture is located in the Mewad region of Rajasthan. This region is basically the Mewad region of Rajasthan. So if Rajasthan is somewhere over here, then we can say that Mewad region is located in the southeastern part of Rajasthan. Some of the important villages or some of the important Chalcolithic sites in Ahar Banas culture are Ahar, Gilund, Balathal, Bagod and Ojiana. These three are generally most important. That is why you can remember these three or at least these two. You can see that Ahar is located over here. Then we have Balathal and then we also have Gilund. If we talk about the timeline of Ahar Chalcolithic culture, then it started somewhere around 2000 BCE and it lasted up to 1500 BCE. Please note that in some books, the starting of Ahar Chalcolithic culture is given as 3000 BCE. So depending on the author, these timelines may change, but this is generally the timeline at which Ahar Chalcolithic culture was most prominent. So Ahar Chalcolithic culture started around 2000 BCE and it lasted up to 1500 BCE. The area of Ahar Chalcolithic culture was, was nothing but the southeastern part of Rajasthan. And this area is called as Mewad region. You will learn about Mewad region, Marwad region, Malwa region and other regions like this especially in medieval Indian history. Because in medieval India, we will talk about the history of Rajputs. And in the history of Rajputs, Rajasthan becomes very prominent. And we will study different areas in Rajasthan as well as the adjoining areas of Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat also. There we will learn about Mewad, Marwad, Malwa, Hadoti and other regions. So Ahar Chalcolithic sites are mainly located in the Banas Valley. That is why Ahar Chalcolithic culture is also known as Banas culture or sometimes it is also called as Ahar Banas culture. Moreover, we must note that Banas Valley area is basically an arid zone. Arid zone means this region has very low rainfall. Generally, we say that some area is arid when the rainfall is less than 25 cm per year. If it is between 25 to 50 cm per year, then that area is generally called as semi-arid zone. So Banas Valley is basically an arid zone. Moreover, Ahar Chalcolithic sites had copper which was locally available. That is why these people were able to make many copper tools, copper implements and copper sheets. We have found most of these implements also. If we talk about the pottery that was done by Ahar Chalcolithic culture people, then these people mainly made black and red ware pottery. Ahar Chalcolithic culture people followed a mixed economy which was basically nothing but a mix of cultivation of plants as well as hunting and gathering for their food. So this is a very common feature in all Chalcolithic sites because Chalcolithic people were not completely dependent on cultivation of plants. That is why these people also did hunting and gathering as well as rearing of animals for their food. If we talk about the animals that were reared by these people then Ahar Chalcolithic culture people domesticated cattle, buffalo, goat, sheep, pigs and dogs as well as fowl. Fowl is nothing but chickens. So all these animals were domesticated by Ahar Chalcolithic culture people. So Ahar Chalcolithic culture started somewhere around 2000 BCE and it ended around 1500 BCE. Why did this culture end around 1500 BCE? Because during 1500 BCE, there was a climate change and due to this climate change, these areas became even more dry and even more arid. So even before this area was having less rainfall. Now after climate change, it became even more arid. That is why the farmers in Ahar Chalcolithic culture were unable to produce more crops. Therefore, these sites in Ahar Chalcolithic culture declined. One peculiar feature about Ahar Chalcolithic culture was we did not find many stone tools here. For example, we did not find many microliths or stone axes or blades. However, 
Ahar Chalcolithic culture had copper deposits nearby. That is why these people made different kinds of copper tools and copper implements. So we can say that Ahar Chalcolithic people practiced copper smelting on a wide scale. That is why the old name of Ahar was Tambavati. Tamba in Hindi means copper. Okay. So it is very fitting that the old name of Ahar is Tambavati because there was plenty of copper available here. These type of questions are generally asked in UPSC prelims. So far in our Chalcolithic cultures, we have learnt that the old name of Kayatha was Kapitaka and the old name of today's Maheshwar was nothing but Mahishmati. And now we have learnt that the old name of Ahar was Tambavati. Since these people were having so much copper deposits nearby, the villages in Ahar Chalcolithic culture were supplying copper to Harappans. Because Ahar Chalcolithic culture is located close to Gujarat. And in Gujarat, we have many Harappan cities like Lothal, Dholavira, Surkotada and others. So these people were supplying copper items to all these Harappan cities. So if we talk about some of the important villages and important sites in Ahar culture, then Ahar, which is also called as Tambavati, Balathal, Gilund, Bagod and Ojiana are some of the important sites. If you like this video, please subscribe. You can download this presentation from our Telegram channel. The name of the channel is IAS Project. The link for this channel is given in the description section below.